Hey Earth Energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages here. Today we're going to take a look at and see what the cards predict uh, for the future of you and your romantic connection. So this reading is going to be more tailored to those of you that are romantically involved with someone, whether you're loosely involved with this person or whether you're in a long-term relationship, a partnership or a marriage. Um, we'll see what the cards uh, hint at, what's to come. So will you end up together? What will the future look like? You know, weeks, months, years from now? Um, is this your forever person? We'll see what the cards say. I'm not trying to single anyone out, but um, I guess, you know, if you do have a romantic interest in mind, that these messages are probably more uh, suited for you. This is going to be a general reading, therefore the messages are going to be general, so please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what they're predicting for you guys. Okay, Strength. Queen of Pentacles. The World. Nine of Wands. Four of Swords, Nine of Cups, High Priestess in Reverse, and the King of Cups also in Reverse. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, some of you straight away, I'm getting that uh, this person, you've met this person, or you will meet this person online here. Okay, this is someone, who, um, some of you are going to be doing long distance for a while to begin off with. Um, this person could be someone who is from like a complete different cultural background to yourself. I'm picking up like a, uh, a an accent, an exotic or a heavy accent here. Um, or just, yeah, someone who's from a different uh, cultural background and was born overseas here. This is a relationship or a connection that's going to go from strength to strength. It may not... In the beginning, it may not be, there may be some setbacks and there may be some challenges here, okay? In the beginning, it may be, like the two of you might not get off on the best foot. Um, in the beginning, you might not be totally convinced that this is the person whom you're going to end up with or the person whom you're going to build a relationship with. There may be some challenges. Those challenges may be geographical challenges, okay? The two of you are in different countries, you know, this is long distance. How are you going to make this work? Or different city or states, so I can see that there is something here, some hurdles or some obstacles that you're going to have to jump forward. You have to understand that those hurdles or obstacles that are placed in your path are there to strengthen you as individuals and also strengthen you and your connection. Okay, So if you can jump over those hurdles, if you can jump through those hoops, those obstacles, um, understand and trust in the very fact that you're strengthening your connection. You know, those obstacles are in your path to strengthen, tighten and bring the two of you closer together, not draw you further apart. So I can see that there is going to be some challenges you're going to have to endure. Okay, this connection at times or this person is going to test your patience. Um, it might require that you, you know, uh, really showcase your resilience, your mental, your physical resilience, um, your patience here. However, I feel like, and I'm, for some of you, I'm getting the message that you're going to have to really be strong. You're going to have to be strong for one another, or you really, there are times in the connection where you, you'll feel like, okay, maybe it's just too hard or it's too difficult, or, you know, um, you don't know how much more of this you can endure. But if you keep on pushing through, if you push through the pain, and if you push through all these obstacles here, I promise that this is going to be a connection um, worth fighting for it's, a, it's going to be you know a person worth chasing it's just going to be all worth it in the end your person here um, your person or you might have some doubts or you might have some reservations about the connection there may be something that you're totally not convinced about again whether it's the fact that the two of you are in separate city countries or states or whether your person here is a little bit guarded or a little bit overwhelmed. I'm getting an energy that is a little bit, uh, that it's a pained energy, okay? There's um, both the Nine of Wands and the Four of Swords depict a wounded soldier. So for some of you, it's going to be really difficult because their energy feels like it's been really hurt or wounded in the past. Um, it could be from previous relationships. You know, maybe they've had... Um, they've suffered some really bad breakups, they've had their heart broken, and they've never fully mended. They may not be fully over their ex, or if they are over their ex, maybe they're not over the you know emotional pain or the trauma that um, came from it. For some of you, I feel like this person that you're dealing with may have insecurities here. 
They may have um, really low self-esteem. They may have really low self-worth, inadequacies or anxieties here that are going to make it really hard at times for you to love them or they make it hard for them to love you. Again, you know, this all goes back into this. All I just want to all tie it back to that, you know, that connection he being strengthened because of these challenges, because of these difficulties, because of these obstacles. At the end of the day, this person is a, you know, this is someone whom you've manifested into your world. And this is someone whom, you know, who has manifested you into their world. I can see that the two of you are in alignment with one another. Okay. It may not necessarily begin off like that um, in the beginning, but you will, I can see that the two of you will come into alignment with one another. Your You've been brought together here to heal each other, okay? To heal each other, um, to help each other grow, to teach each other lessons, both spiritual and physical here. Um, you're going to be such a big part of each other's world here. The two of you do have a future, okay? The two of you do have, the, have a future. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing that you're going to be traveling to meet this person in the future. Okay, so for those of you that are doing long distance, either this person is going to come to visit you or you will be coming to visit them here. For others of you, you're going to be doing a lot of traveling with this person in the future. You're going to be traveling. I'm seeing you traveling different cities, countries, um, or you're doing a lot of weekend getaways. There's going to be a lot of movement there, a lot of movement. For others of you, I feel like I'm seeing that early on, in the connection, you're going to be developing plans for the future um, together here. This person does feel like a wish manifested, a wish or a dream come true. Okay, and when you'll first meet them, you'll think that this is your ideal partner or your ideal relationship, and then you know obstacles will re its um, its certain obstacles or challenges will re its ugly head here. But if you again, if you can really be patient with them, and if you can endure here. Um, endure you know the the push past the pain and the obstacles i really feel like this is going to be um worth it all in the end it's not going to be easy so i, I don't want to sit here and promise you that you know this is going to be easy it's not going to be easy but will it be worth it i think so i do i really do because i feel like this person is meant to come into your life and for some of you i do feel like this person is going to stick around although they do have they do have insecurities here guys they do have issues like abandonment issues or emotional issues or insecurities or trauma here that i feel like you know has has left them feeling very wounded and jaded and hurt and unfortunately because of the fact that your person is hurting there will be stages in the connection when they're going to hurt you okay by pulling away by being really withdrawn by not opening them themselves up and being as you know open and honest and receptive with themselves and with you so you're going to have to deal with a lot of challenges um, and a lot of pains that will come from this connection here but i do want to say that i feel like it's going to be all worth it in the end your person has a hard time of being you know emotionally vulnerable here okay king of cups and the high priestess um, this is someone who can't communicate, who can't, no, they can communicate, but they just can't emotionally express themselves. They have a hard time. Again, it's because this person has some sort of emotional trauma that really burdens them, okay? They're burdened with this emotional trauma or this emotional pain here. And because they've suppressed it and because they're not confronting that pain mm -hmm. on their own here, it's um, it's hindering them. It's hindering them from opening up and experiencing the love that they truly deserve. So, Will it be a challenge navigating this connection? Yes. Uh, will your person have a hard time, you know, being um, loving you and being loved in return and accepting the love that they deserve? Absolutely. But are they capable of love? Yes, they are. Are they capable of being, you know, um, that ideal partner? And then are they capable of, you know, giving you that ideal partnership? They are. They are. Is it going to be a lot of work? Yes. But aren't all relationships work? Okay, so it, it all comes down to how bad the two of you want this and how just how badly you're willing to fight for each other and you're willing to fight for this connection. Because I can see, you know, and both of you are going to be hurt and there are going to be stages in the relationship where you're both really going to hurt each other, whether it's with the things you say, with the things you do to one another, with your intentions here. Um, but, you know, they say that hurt people hurt others the most. But at the end of the day... I honestly feel like this is going to be a very um, powerful connection. 
a very transformative connection. This person is going to end up in your future. Some of you are going to end up having children with this person. Okay, you're going to um, you're going to do a lot of traveling with this person here. For some of you, this person is going to enter your life, or you will meet this person when you're closing up one cycle and starting another one. Okay, so they're part of this spiritual journey that you're going to be undertaking. For others of you. For a lot of you, actually, this is someone whom you're going to end up with, the infinity loop. This is someone, this is the long, you're going to go long, um, the long, the long haul with this person. This is going to go the long, um, this pen, this, sorry, can't get it out. This person is going to be in it for the long haul. This relationship here is going to go the distance here. This is going to be your forever person. This is going to be a connection that will... That will endure the storms. Storms are going to come and they're going to disrupt your connection here. Disrupt the balance, the flow, the equilibrium of your connection. Okay, There are going to be times when you're going to feel like giving up. But for those of you who won't give up on this connection and you won't give up on yourself and the love that you deserve and on each other, it'll all be worth it in the end. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. So I just want to thank you again for watching and for listening. If those of you, for those of you that are interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Um, once again, I will list my email address below the video here. Otherwise, guys, um, I just want to thank you all for your time and attention. I'll be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so feel free to check out the channel. Bye for now.